What is up everyone? Welcome to the third campaign video of January and we are going to take a look at the game called Vista Online. The other two games, when I was making a video, I was like, hmm... But then this one? Let me tell you good things about this game, okay? First of all, one of the most important things that I really think about when I play the game is music. Of course, you can kind of mute the background music and play your own song, right? But the background music here, they're all awesome! As I move to a different locations, this is the very first town that I go to after the tutorial and everything looks nice. To be honest, this kind of brings me all those good memories that I used to have when I played Ragnarok online before, but this is 3D with good background music. Okay, okay. This game has a lot more users in the game and I like it a lot. Like, I mean, if you are a newbie to this game and if you ask for help, they're probably gonna help you out. So, what makes this game so special is, well, first, it is very important to let you know that this game is free to play, of course. Like, at some point of time, you will be stuck and you wouldn't know what to do. If you get your friends to play this game, you guys can do a kingdom quest together. So, the way you play this game is simple. You walk around and look for the NPCs with Q that's burning. That's probably the one that gives you a quest, yes. And you follow instructions. And if you don't read, you're going to suffer. And let's say you got a quest and you don't know what to do. So what you want to do is you press the M key. You can click on this. You're going to be able to see this Q, the blue Q icon. And it's right here. You're this arrow, so you have to go this way. So that's how this game goes. There's so many mounts in the game that makes this gameplay a little more interesting. So this one is Ostrich. This one is Rabbit. Pretty fast. And this one is a Lion. Oh, I like this one. But my most favorite mount is this one. You get to be the Snowball. And you roll around. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. We got to the NPC that I was supposed to talk to. Okay, and what next? You can take a look at the quest that you have right now and also if you click on available You can check the one that you can get and that can be easily seen from the minimap right here There is that red queue, right? So that's what you need to do Okay Alright, and if you click on the quest, then they tell you what to do. And also, if you don't know where those monsters are, you can also click on the location, and they show you where they are. Let's go ahead and kill those monsters. And get the quest done. Okay, let's kill those monsters. I like how each monsters would show you that you're supposed to kill them for a quest. This game is very kind. Mushroom's done. Slime is done. Alright, so we go back to the town. Okay, so as you can see, when you have cleared the quest, or if you have met the requirement, to complete the quest, those Q will now be blue. So you talk to them and you're good to go. Alright, let's choose a reward for mage because I'm mage. Okay, got that. If you follow the quest in the beginning, they're gonna explain most of the important things that you need to know as a newbie. So make sure you read them so that you won't get lost in the future. To be honest, it's okay to not read. But you will suffer, I'll let you know. Like I said in one of my videos, there's no wrong way to play the game, but there is absolutely the right way to waste your time, so yeah. Okay, so, you can see the reason why I chose this class, right? I mean, it's got the big weapon, so I like that. That's why I went for the mage 
female one, yeah. There are some costumes in this game that makes your character look better. So, this one is a musketeer suit. Oh, looks nice. And if you want her to shoot guns, you can also get this item. You can have a musketeer on your back. Looks nice. And this, twin swords. If you want to be a samurai, that is it. That looks perfect on her. She kind of looks like the Kenshin, right? Hawaiian top. Oh, nice. Oh, and there is the doctor's robe. Is that really a doctor's robe? Is that what doctors wear? Where's this game from? I want to move there. <laughs> and in this game, there is something called mini house. So here is the menu for mini house. You can sell stuff or can also buy. And also you can change the way it looks. This guy has a F2P mini house. But there's also a skin for the mini house. This one, my mini house is gonna look like a takoyaki vendor. Nice. I like that. And this is another shape of the mini house. And I think I like this because it just makes you feel like you're so rich. This thing is shooting gold coins. Okay, shall we find out about the echo cave? Let's see what kind of music is there. That looks spooky. Look at this monster. Oh my god. Alright. This place is very scary. I just want to leave. But if I exit out from a different location, that means a new location in the map. So let me go ahead and explore this place. Copper ore. So I guess if you wanted to make some weapons you'd probably have to mine that right in this spooky place i see i see good thing they kind of show you all the locations because if you had to walk around without knowing where the portals are you know what is a dead end you'd probably have to like spend a lot of time trying to figure out your exit oh oh i am so dumb i passed it i passed it Let's hope that that thing is not gonna attack me. Oh no! I'm stuck. I'm not really interested into that NPC. It's a dude anyways. Okay. Alright. Is this a new town? Seems like we're in the middle of nowhere. A field probably? I'm fighting it somehow But it seems like I'm kind of losing Okay, can I run away? I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry How about we go to Eldrin? Alright, let's go to Eldrin It looks like a pretty big town And we must get there Oh, I'm jamming right now I like the song So I'm assuming If my guess is right This seems like the biggest town here in the game and that means we're gonna be able to meet a lot of users. But then, it kind of works like this. In every game, there is like a, like a place where you meet up all together. Like say, you want to sell something and you go to that location. Oh, it brings all the good memories that I used to have as a gamer long time ago. And look at these people! Buff me please! Buff me please! And somebody probably buffed him and he goes, thank you very much. <laughs> so in this game there is a system called guild and a guild master can teleport to any of the guild members at any time and as you level up your guild and you guys can get some awesome rewards all guild members have a shared storage where you can store your money and items in one place and in this game you guys can have a pvp with a little tweak in it so you guys basically play a capture the flag with a bunch of people so that could be very fun for you to check if you're strong enough to compete with other people. And in this game, you guys can marry somebody. But I don't think you can change your gender after you make your character. So I guess you gotta be a little careful when you're planning to play with your real life girlfriend or boyfriend. So keep that in mind. And also it kind of works like this. You get to invite 30 people for your wedding. <laughs> and when they're invited, they're gonna be teleported to a special wedding chapel for ceremony. And when you're done getting married, you're gonna get a special reward and a buff 
pits will be applied to the couples only, not the people who got invited. But yeah, in terms of the UI, everything looks straightforward. You can put your skills here. You can also put the mounts. You can see your HP bar here, MP, your EXP bar. So I enjoyed playing this game and I hope you guys try this out as well. And thank you so much for watching this long video and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.